Ladies and gentlemen, Violet Games here. I need to disclose something before we start this part today. Um, I did record to part 10 at this point. However, I ran into a bit of an issue. <laughs> Basically, my fan was on and it ruined the audio over my microphone. I'm super sorry. I'm going to be playing. Um, I've learned some things. Obviously, I know where I'm going to be going. I know Sokolov's in here. I know this is where you get him and shit. And I also killed the one fucking dude. In a very anticlimactic way, may I add. It was kind of funny. I wish... I really wish the footage didn't sound as bad as it did, but it does. So, I'm just going to move forward from this one. And then after this mission, hopefully I can remain, you know, blind and oblivious to this playthrough. But one thing I will say, for note... If the Clockwork Soldiers get one good hit on you, you die. Like, if like if they do a spinning attack, you will instantly be killed. It is absolutely fucking ridiculous. So, you really need to take your time when fighting Clockwork Soldiers. And really, like... Like, you're gonna be doing a lot of this. Playback indicates criminal profile. Alright. Playback for unambiguous enemy. Playback for combat the machine is over. Yeah, that attack right there will instantly kill you. Alright. I'm gonna summon another doppelganger behind him. And hopefully that'll be all that it takes. Oh, nope. Oh fuck, dude! I almost died right there. Combat protocol. Okay, shut it down. The way to kill them is to either take all of their limbs off, or just hit them in the back. There's like a little back hitbox there. If there was a way I could juke around it, that'd be really, really nice. But it doesn't seem there's a safe way to do that all the time. Damn, bloodlust's activated. Damn, it's hard to see when that happens. Oh, could you not? Alright, there goes another limb. I keep forgetting that you can do a precision stab if you hold R2. Ow. Alright, back up, back up, back up. Woo! Woo! Okay, good. Alright, Emily, calm down. Sokolov. Oh my god, it's Sokolov, hi. I'm your biggest fan. Well, not really, but you're kind of an ugly, strange looking fucker. Is that young Emily Caldwin? And oh, yes. Save your strength. I came to take you out of here. Jendosh has bigger plans than you know. An army of his clockwork soldiers. It would be the end. I'm going to visit Jindosh too, old friend. <laughs> <laughs> totally thought he died there. Totally thought he died there. Spoiler, he's not dead. Now Safest to take Sokolov back to the carriage before confronting Jindosh. Yes, you can cheese this with magic if you were wondering. You absolutely can cheese this with magic. But there's no point because it's literally the simplest puzzle in the world, maybe. As you can see. Fuck are you guys doing? Take this. Ha! 
I'll be wiping off your you blood. Think lane. you're clever. Come on, guys. I can't see any way to reach her. Come here. You are I thought that was a grenade. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Get in there, Emily. This is just awkward, you know? I'm gonna end this before it gets any more awkward. Oh shit. I was going to end this. Bloodthirsty. Am I right? Am I right, boys? Nothing? Nothing? Okay. That was the weirdest fucking fight I think I've had in this game. That was incredible. I'm very happy about that. Alright. Oh, almost forgot Anton downstairs. So come off! <coughs> Baby, come back to me. Alright. Now we need to get Anton out of here effectively so that he doesn't get in the way of my shenanigans. Oh wait, not that. Fuck. I went to the wrong floor, Sokolov. Fuck. Alright, how did I enter here, though? Um, like, which door did I enter? Because I, I, I learned the hard way that there's a butt-fuck ton of clockwork soldiers at the front door. So don't go in that way. I think there was like a side entrance I went through? I, I honestly can't fucking remember. It's really... Like, it's, it's out of my memory at this point. Ooh. Gosh, this place is so big and complex and shit. Is that a clockwork soldier? Oh, buddy. Why is my controller vibrating? I don't know if it's starting to annoy me. Let's see. This can't be the way that I came in. Sokolov, are you dead? No. Good. Come on. Because I don't remember any of this shit, and I'm definitely not fighting those clockwork soldiers if I don't have to. Oh boy. Did I enter through a side door over here? No. Dude, it had to have been that um, area that I was just in. Like, how else could I have entered? So, does that mean I'm, like, not looking somewhere? Maybe it's up here. If you're there, I have to warn you. That area is not safe. It's not meant for human passage. Increasing oil the alive level. temperature. Take this opportunity to back charge second When this plays, check central road. Oh my gosh, you're talking too much, dude. Please stop. Um, Dude, I literally cannot remember how I entered this level at all. It is a complete mystery to me. Like, I know there's a better way out of here than just fighting a ton of fucking clockwork soldiers. I know that for a fact. I just have no idea where that was. Like, I entered through there is the thing. And I have zero recollection as to where in the fuck. I'm not even sure they can come up here, but I'm not super concerned anyhow. I guess I'm gonna just gonna have to go through the front door because I don't know where I came in through. Maybe it was the front door, who fucking knows, but 
All right, Sokolov, I need you to go somewhere safe. And that's as safe as it gets, I guess. <laughs> this is about to get really weird really quickly, and you're about to find out why. So if I have enough grenades, it won't be too bad. I think stun mines also um, pacify them for a bit. What about spring razors? You know what? I don't think it's going to work, but we might as well try it. Alright. Oh my gosh, they totally do work on him, don't they? What? Dude, nice. Spring razors are badass. Somehow I got out of that alive. We did it through the power of cheese, Emily. We did it through the power of cheese. No, no bullets. No bullets for me. Okay, thanks. So long. Come on, babe. We're gonna go on. A no, no, it's not what we're doing. We're not gonna. We're not gonna fuck that dead bot. No. Ooh, a plaque. Ooh. That. No shit. Fuck Sokolov, you get in the way of everything. This is why no one loves you. Especially me. Right, was there a plaque there? No. I don't even know what they do, and I just want to collect them all. Apparently there was another one I didn't kill. So we're gonna drop Sokolov off, and then, uh, yeah, that'll be, um, pretty damn awesome. Make sure to save like fucking crazy because the clockwork soldiers are badass as fuck. <laughs> They're just amazing, I guess. Yeah, I'm like burnt the fuck out. I'm sorry if this part is slightly dull because it honestly probably is because I'm like so fucking tired. At least Anton is safe. <laughs> now, for Jindosh. Alright, we've secured Sokolov. So now we're gonna move on. To fucking wrecking this poor fool. Oh yeah. Actually, I'm gonna end the part right here. And I'm gonna go all the way back up to that upper floor that I ended um part 8 on, I think. And that way you won't have to sit through a bunch of backtracking and a loading screen. This has been Violent Games, guys. Hope you enjoyed this super short part of Dishonored 2. Because I'm burnt the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching.